Gravity Sketch came out with an iPad app recently and they asked me to review it for them. Just so you guys know, this is a totally honest review. Um, they're not paying me. They didn't ask me to say anything specific. These are my thoughts and my thoughts only. So Gravity Sketch for iPad is basically a combination of 2D sketching, vector drawing with Illustrator, and 3D modeling. It's sort of a mishmash of all three of those and it's pretty cool. So in terms of what Gravity Sketch for the iPad is actually good for, I think it would be really good for basically creating a base model or sort of like an underlay and then drawing over that. Uh, I do this in CAD a lot, but I think it's a little bit faster in Gravity Sketch for iPad. It's a little bit more intuitive and a little bit more forgiving. So you can draw a line just like any sketching app, but then you can go in and manipulate the line with these points, just like a vector app. And then you can actually look at the object in 3D, which we're gonna do in a second. So in this case, I'm designing some women's sunglasses here. A big thing with eyewear is getting these curves right and Gravity Sketch for iPad allows me to do that pretty easily. Now, I personally don't think I would use this app for any kind of final output. You can add surfaces in here, but honestly, I would probably just forget about that. What I would use it for is probably for underlays that I can then draw over. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm starting with a base model. I'll take some screenshots of it in a little bit, and then I'll draw over those screenshots in Procreate or just by hand to come up with a few different iterations. Also, this is a pretty short video, I know. I'm not really gonna go into detail about like how to use the actual app because the creators at Gravity Sketch actually did a really in-depth tutorial and I'll leave a link to that in the description. This is just showing how you can basically use it or just like a quick overview. Honestly, I'm pretty comfortable with drawing eyewear at this point. So if this was for a real project, I'd probably just draw the glasses without an underlay. Um, I just did eyewear because it's something that I'm comfortable with. Um, but if I was like designing something that was maybe a bit more complicated or that I was less comfortable drawing, I could definitely see this being a useful tool. This is just a little aside that I wanna mention as it relates to eyewear design and glasses. Um, Glasses are actually curved. Even prescription frames that look really flat actually have a little bit of curvature to them. And that's because lenses are mostly spherical. Now, there are a few glasses that are completely flat, but honestly, like 99.99% of glasses have some kind of curvature to them. So you need to integrate that into your designs if you're doing sketches of them. Otherwise, they're not gonna look right. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because I see so many Instagram posts and YouTube videos of people, you know, making glasses and they all draw them flat and they just look weird and completely wrong. So I just wanted to bring that up. Not trying to throw shade at any of the people who are trying to design glasses. I know maybe you didn't do it professionally, so I'm sure I do the same thing with other stuff that I've drawn that I haven't done professionally. Okay, so back to Gravity Sketch. It would also be really useful if you needed to design something with very specific proportions and you needed each sketch to be based on a very specific sort of like template basically. So if you want access to these Procreate files and the actual Gravity Sketch files, you can click the link that I'll leave in the comments or the description. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button. You really gotta smash it though, otherwise it doesn't work. Uh, maybe you can subscribe too if you're not already subscribed, blah, 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 YouTube, blah, blah, blah. Overall, I think that the Gravity Sketch iPad app is pretty cool. I think it's a good substitute for the VR app if you don't have a VR headset. But if you do have a VR headset, I would highly, highly recommend that you download their app. It's totally free and it is the future of design in my opinion. The VR app has way more capabilities than the iPad app since it's been around for a really long time. I'm going to post a video on Gravity Sketch in VR at some point and I'll give it a more thorough review as well. Anyway, thanks again guys for checking out the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I hope you have a great day.